We chased those pirates into the shallow water, got rid of all of them. Over here on the right is an armory built in 1900. It's the last wooden federal building ever constructed on the island. Originally, it housed a group that was called Island City Rifles, which is like a National Guard unit. It now houses studio space for local artists. And here on the left, real nice old mahogany tree. We lost about a third of that tree to Hurricane Wilma, but the tree stood guard for many, many years over a military burial ground. Bodies were buried there in the 1880s, and they were primarily victims of disease. During the 1920s, they moved the bodies to the Pensacola area, but when they started work on Pericord housing, they discovered a skeleton and some additional bones and rededicated that property as a military burial ground. Now, when we're making our way around the island, you're going to notice we do have lots of blue ceilings, lots of painted up vehicles, and lots of houses that are very, very close together. What you are not going to be able to see from the roads we can get down in this train is there are additional houses in the centers of many of these blocks which are accessible by lanes even narrower than some of the roads I'm going to be taking you down today. A lot of these houses were built by ship's carpenters and they were not trained architects. They did a nice job combining styles they'd seen around the world though to hold the houses together in high wind, keep them a little cooler. Now here's a bright bush on our uh, right. This is a bougainvillea. That stuff comes about 50 billion different colors. Color stuff's not the flower. The flower is a little white blossom in the middle of the colored bracts. You might be able to see it more clearly on the left. The orange flowers on the left are double hibiscus. Now you notice we have uh, tin roofs on these island houses, and one reason that we did that was because we were collecting the rainwater. No municipal water system, every family responsible for their own water collected it from the roofs and stored it in cisterns until it was needed. Now these trees here on our uh, right are frangipani, just coming out of their ugly duckling stage. And over here on our left we got some bright pink flowers and white ones, that's all oleander. Another reason for the tin roofs on these houses is because of fire. On an island that has this many wooden structures this close together, fire has been a constant problem. 1886, we had the worst fire in our city's history. It burned through the downtown residential and commercial area. And when they rebuilt, they put the tin roofs on, hoping to retard the spread of flame from building to building. Over here on the right corner, uh, pretty little perfectly blue flowers, those are called plumbago. The blue flag on the right might not be familiar. That's the flag of the Conquer Republic, another name for Key West. The purple flowers against the fence line over there are called Ruelia, Mexican petunias. And there's a potted up key lime tree on the left. I hope you're planning to try something made out of key limes while you're down here. My current favorite thing is a piece of frozen key lime pie on a stick dipped in chocolate.